welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to talk about basic uses for the Marlin Spike Hitch, so stick around. The Marlin Spike Hitch is basically used to attach a spike or a toggle to a piece of cordage in order to form a T-handle. However, the hitch itself can be used for several other knots, so let's check it out. For today's exercise, you'll need cordage of your choice, a spike or toggle, a knife, and a lighter. I want to give a disclaimer right here. For the video, I'm going to be using a tent stake and a toggle. Now, for this to truly be a marlin spike, what you want to do is run this taper to about the halfway point. And what that does is it gradually decreases the diameter all the way down, so when you use your marlin hitch, what tends to happen is it locks or bites onto the toggle or your spike and it's hard to remove. If it's tapered down you can just twist it and slide it right out. But I'm not an advocate for using my knife or dulling my knife for items in the field that I'm only going to use once or not at all. A tent stake is reusable, toggle is reusable, so I'll do that and I'm good to go. Alright well the first thing we want to do is go ahead and tie the marlin spike hitch. So to do that, take my right hand I'm just going to rotate it over, just like that, and you form a loop. Now take that loop and lay it on top of your cordage. Reach inside and pull it up, just like that. Grab your spike or toggle, slide it in, and pull both ends tight. Just like that. We want to go ahead and make a slip knot. So just like before, I rotate it over, form a loop, lay it on top, reach inside, just like that. And from here, there's your basic slip knot. So from here we're still working with our toggle and our slip knot. What we're going to do is we're going to tie a simple overhand knot right here and we're going to create a jam knot. And you can use the same process to create a bowline. So like always, rotate it over, lay it on top, reach inside. Now take your end, place it through your loop. Now go ahead and grab right here. That creates your loop for your bowline. Now pull it tight. And there's your bowling. And the last knot I want to talk about is a stopper knot. So just like before, rotate it over, lay it on top, go ahead and pull it through, just like this. Now grab your end, slide it through. And go ahead and pull it tight. Just like that. Now that you can tie a Marlin spike hitch and several knots using that hitch, let's go ahead and talk about some practical application. 
Now we've got this down limb right here. So what I want to do is go ahead and tie a timber hitch on one end using my cordage and a T-handle using my Marlin spike hitch on the other and go ahead and drag this thing out of here. All we're going to do is take our cordage, go underneath, and from here, I'm going to wrap it around just like this. I'm going to go over the top and through it anywhere from three to five times, preferably five times. It's two. There's three. And there's five. I go ahead and pull it tight. Just like that. And that's your timber hitch. From here it's pretty straightforward. We got a timber hitch on that end right there. We're gonna go ahead and take our cordage. We're gonna rotate it towards the tree. We got our loop right here. We're gonna lay it on our cordage towards our tree. Just like this. Now grab our toggle. We're gonna place it inside of our hitch. Just like that. Cinch it down, pull it tight. Now we've got our T-handle. Now the next thing we can do is we can use a modified Marlin spike hitch for a quick release on a trucker's hitch for shelter construction. What I want to do is we have a bowline right here that we made earlier. I'm going to wrap around this tree. I'm going to use my stake for a quick release Marlin spike. So all we're going to do, we have our bowline right here. I'm going to go ahead and put our cord just through that bowline and it creates a pocket just like our hitch here for a Marlin spike. I'm gonna take my stake or my toggle, place it inside that pocket, and pull it tight. Just like that. We have a ridge line set up right here. On that end over there, we have a trucker's hitch. Over here is our quick release. So all we gotta do, grab onto our improvised Marlin spike, slide it out, it comes undone. The last thing I want to show you is how to make a rope ladder using the Marlin spike hitch. What I've done here is taken my cordage and I've found the halfway point and I simply tied a bowline around this log right here. So now what I want to do is do the exact same method and use some branches from our rungs in my ladder. One real nice advantage of finding the halfway point on your cordage and tying a bowline is that it gives you two equal strands to work with. So just like before, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and start down here. I'm going to twist it upwards towards my branch, creates that loop. Now I'm going to bring that loop upwards again, reach inside, and creates that pocket. Now grabbing a branch from a tree from my ladder rung, I'm going to slide it through and pull it tight, just like this. Now do the exact same thing to this side, and it should give you your first rung for your ladder. Welcome back, that was outstanding. There's a lot of things going on inside that video and I apologize for that, but sometimes it's good to see how things come together and I love it when a plan comes together. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna catch you next time.